German steeple bonsted in Essex where people report having strange feelings and hearing the sound of horses but turn to see nothing. What will we discover tonight when we investigate steeple bonsted? Stay tuned to find out. Steeple Bombsted is a village situated on the borders of Essex near Haverhill. It's well known for being the place where corrugated iron was invented in 1840s by Colonel J.C. Humphrey. Despite looking like a normal village, there are a number of haunted sites around Bumstead. The park behind the village hall is one of the areas believed to be haunted. People say they get strange feelings over here for no apparent reason. Although there haven't been any reports of apparitions or disembodied voices around this field, the strange feelings still could be put down to something paranormal. It's definitely worth investigating. Another place that's reported to be haunted is it, um, so that we're going to be investigating tonight is Finchinfield Road, which is uh, right here. Um, people report hearing the sounds of horses going up and down here, and when they turn around there's no horses there. And I think that it's probably a residual haunt in this here. Basically, the theory of the residual haunting is where a moment in history or an energy is recorded into something. For example, say a car drives up this road. The energy from that car would then be absorbed by the road and under certain circumstances it would be replaced basically like a DVD player playing a film. Now, you can't interact with these they, uh, these ghosts, they don't know that you're here, um, you can't speak to them, they can't get replies or anything like that. They're literally just a film being replayed. But you can capture the sounds and I think the sounds of the horses along this road is from the residual horse. The final place we're going to be investigating is the fields around Blois Road. Now, there's been a long non-conformist belief in the village going right back to the Middle Ages. And in that time, there's been a lot of people that have been executed because of their beliefs. One famous report of someone getting executed was uh, a man named Butcher, who was actually brought to this site right here and who's burnt alive just because of his beliefs, which is horrible. Another well documented one is about a guy called John Tybalt, uh, who was also executed here. few ghosts and spirits haunting this area right here is because the way they were killed and the reason they were killed. Think about it. They were killed just because of their beliefs. And that's a horrible way to do it. And the way they killed them, they were burned alive. Can you imagine that? And having your set skin set on fire, being covered in oil, and then a mat lich, and you just burst up in flames. Absolutely terrible way to go. And if your soul lives on, which is a theory that a lot of people have, then you're going to want to stay for revenge. You're not going to want to leave the place. You want to go and stay, get revenge on the people that have done this to you. Which is the reason I think there probably are some spirits still here. And as darkness fell, we began our investigation. Um, yeah, so we're starting at the park bench. We've got three motion sensors on the bin there. Um, is that coming off? 
Yeah, that's gone phone. off as well. That's gone off as well. Literally, just as you spoke, yes! that went off. Everyone's phone off. Mine's on airplane mode. Did you just make that light go off? Can you do it again, please? A few minutes after we started recording, the EMF meter and a motion sensor went off. We managed to come to a natural explanation for both of these things. The EMF meter can be explained seeing as Marcus's phone was turned on, giving off EMF, and the motion sensor was in fact in front of a tree, so a branch could easily have blown in the wind and set it off. None of our equipment that we've actually got here today will hurt you, and we have no intention of hurting you either. It's literally just a... That was me. That was me. Yeah. I'll record now. This little box that I'm holding in my hand, if you can come up to it and talk into it, I'll be able to hear your voice. This piece of equipment that we've got here is called an electrostatic device and obviously going along with the theory that ghosts are made up of electromagnetic energy, people also say they're made up of static energy. Um, basically, this detects the static energy. Once, uh, it's because it's been in, my, in the case, it's built up static energy, but when the static energy goes from around it, the light will come back on again and then it dims when it's in the presence of static. So, wait for the light to come back on and it'll... Uh, let us know if anything's static that's here. Getting no activity in the park, we decided to make our way to Finch and Fields Road, the area where the sounds of horses have been heard. This one's best, isn't it? One. I'd use that for this year. I should get two. Get two out. Stand here in quiet and quiet. Is it anyone in a horse and cart going up here? Can you show us a sign that uh, you're here with us? Right, guys, if you hear anything, just, just say. Oh, I may have heard bells, but it That's what I cricket. heard. It may have heard a cricket. No, it's from that direction over there. Yeah, I can hear it from about here. Bells. Yeah, but it might be a cricket. Did they used to have bells on... Right, we'll just... We'll find out. Can you make another sound for us? I keep on thinking I see stuff up there, but I'm not sure. You guys keep on looking up that way, because I keep on I keep on seeing things. It might just be my eyes playing tricks, but I swear I saw something. Car is coming this way. Yeah, out of it. Marcus. something. Is it a reflection kind of thing on the ground you're saying? Yeah, but it, it was it's not like a proper reflection sort of thing. Yeah. It looks like What I saw, I'll tell you what I saw, it was up there a bit. Yeah. But at the side of the road like this. Yeah. Is like a light that sort of came out from the side. Yes. Just, just after the car's the car's headlights. Yeah. Went there. Yeah, I just saw a little shot of seeing it as well. light just fly across. Should we go down there? Yeah, guys, you want to move up? Stuff will be fine here. Yeah. Here's sort of about where I started seeing stuff. 
here. Around this area. So no, I haven't saw no, anything. No, no, no. no, that's not what I saw. Mine was like right down there by those two signs. Right. That's that that there. Well, not by those two signs. I'm just 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 close, slightly close to yeah. us. But I saw this flash there. Yeah. There's no car. There was no cars going past when I saw it. Right. So it couldn't have been like any lights reflecting off them two signs. Yeah. It, like just saw... I don't trust this. What, on the road? Yeah. No, uh... Wouldn't have been better going up and all there. Like... Oh, you can climb up here, it's not... About where that lamp post is there. Uh... Do any of your pee session here. What's that? Voice thing. This thing. Oh. Right, so everyone's just sort of stand still. Is there someone here? Car might be coming. Get up here. What did you hear? So it was really faint, but it did sound like horse, like... What Marcus thought he heard was actually captured on his digital recorder. We weren't receiving any more activity on Finch and Fields Road, so we decided to head over to our final location. Just walking up the uh, path to the execution site now. I gotta say, it's a different feel up here. Um, I mean, when we'll say, when we're hunting ghosts and stuff, we'll say that we get different feelings in different places. It's hard to explain, but you can definitely pick up on like their energies and stuff. Um, and it's not that we're in a different place or somewhere that's a bit more scary. It's a much sort of deeper feel than that, um, and it doesn't feel as nice on this part. So hopefully that indicates we're going to get some good activity. It is a lot different than... Yeah, compared to when we were here earlier. I know it's dark, but you can definitely feel yeah. an atmosphere. Earlier, when it was bright, it did, it did feel a little... It felt like, normally it's just fine, but then here it's just... It's not like, I don't, I'm not scared, it's just more like... There's a feeling, just, there's a feeling. You can just feel something here. Not, we know pe right. people are executed here, so it's not a surprise that you can feel yeah, bad. Just, you, can just, you can just feel it here, that something's not quite right. Right, we'll call this base here in the short grass. Yeah. No one's crossed it. Oh, I hope you don't get anything, Jason. Do you want to film, Marcus? Oh, we're still recording? Yeah. Right, okay. Right, we've heard that people have been executed here. Is your name John? It's not fair that you execute. No one has the right to take someone else's life. The way that you were killed, burn at the stake. It's not right. So please, if you're here, come and talk to us now. We might be able to give you closure. The box that Carl's got in his hand. Can you come and walk in front of it? Or bring the energy around it? And the light will turn on. Our energy, use the energy from our equipment if it helps you to, to do stuff for us. Can you make a noise? Talk to one of us, touch one of us, anything please, just to let us know you're here.
John, we don't come with any disrespect for you or anyone else that was here that was killed. Don't come with any disrespect. So we know what will happen to you is absolutely wrong and absolutely horrific thing to have happened. But please come and talk to us. We can help you. We can help you move on. Dust particle, but it was just saw something. Can you come close to this box in my hand? Just come and stand right next to it, please, and try and make the light dim. I think one will go with the spirit box and then call it a day because if we're not going to get stuff, there's no point hanging Yeah, this has only got 4% battery. Well, four minutes. That's fine. And we have got another battery, so. Alright. Right. Get ready for the loud noise. Now. Oh. Here. Emma. 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 Does that say Emma? We just captured a strange flying object on camera. The only natural explanation we could find for this was an insect, but the only problem with this is it doesn't fly from off screen, but appears almost out of thin air. I thought I saw something fly just there. I thought I saw something like a corner eye. I thought I saw something move there. I didn't see anything on camera. I don't know, we'll find out. Later. I didn't really look at anything, I just saw it out of the corner eye. Are your embers around here? You burnt in a fire. Hanged. Hanged. This is hanged. Hanged. It was the same voice. Yes. You were hanged here. Ian Pump. You were hanged here. Can you confirm that you were hanged here? I think that was radio. That bit. Yeah. A minute. A minute of battery. What? A minute of battery. Right. Can we talk to the person that we were speaking to earlier? It sounded like a woman. Does that say me? Right, man. Why did they hang you here? Why did they hang you? If you've got anything to say, say it now, because we're going to be going soon. 